Now, if you're confused on what ski touring binding to get, as there's so many on the market, it can be so confusing and you just don't know what direction to get in, then you're in the right place. Today, I'm gonna help you and I'm gonna talk to you about the Salomon and the Atomic MTN Ski Tech binding. Now, I'm gonna give you my honest review, okay, the pros and cons, why I like them, why I don't like them and how to use them. So welcome back everybody and if you're new to the channel think about subscribing and sharing your passion of skiing and the mountains. Now my name's Floss and uh, this channel is all about supporting you, helping you to build confidence in ski skiing um, for off-piste skiing and outside the boundaries. So today I'm going to get into talking about this binding and confidence is so important. To have confidence in your equipment is such a big thing. Now in 2018, I was in Patagonia and I was skiing down a Kulwa. It had taken me ages to really, really ski the stream, be there, be in the moment. And then all of a sudden, boom, my G3 binding broke and I had a nightmare in the back country. So from 2018, I actually bought these Salomon MTN and Atomic bindings. And I've been skiing Kulwa's, I've been skiing long tours, over three hours, stay tours, and big ascents of 2,000 meters, and they're still been really reliable. So let's talk about how to use them. Um, what you need to do is you've got this plate here where you can actually put your ski boots in, okay, and then you line up the pin bindings. You do have to make sure that you have a ski boot that has got pinholes. Once you do that, then you attach your leash, onto your boot or if you've got brakes you can actually clip them up and make sure that the ski binding is actually twisted around so really easy to use it's such a beautiful day i love it now what i love about this binding is that it's very light it is only 295 grams per binding, so it actually goes on to my lightest setup, ski touring setup. Convenience of this binding is brilliant. So it's such an easy setup. It's so easy to actually flip these over as razors, and also you can use your ski pole to twist round. So when you're actually on the mountain, it's just so easy to actually go into ski and, and hike mode straight away. And that's what I love about them, is you can actually use a pole and you can twist them round. Now, some tech bindings are really small and you actually have to take off, you know, your, your boots and come off the ski to actually then go into downhill mode. These bindings, you don't have to. So what I love about these bindings is you can actually take your skins off while having your skis on and you can actually get the binding into downhill mode and, uh, and ski down straight away without actually taking your skis off and I've done a video on this so don't miss out on this video the other thing I really like about this binding is that it's so reliable it's so simple like everything we have here all the models there's no plastic so nothing really breaks so it gives me more confidence in the backcountry that I'm not gonna have any failure you can see here that it's a really simple setup and uh, simple to use. So the crampons you can use are just the Dynafit ones. Just make sure they're wide enough to actually fit the ski. And it's so simple. It's such a simple setup, which I really like yet again. You literally feed through there, the binding, sorry, the crampon, I can't talk today. And then you press down. Now that is just such a simple method of putting your binding on. Taking them off as well is really simple. You just flip up and you just literally pull them off like that. So simple, so convenient. That's what I love. As you can see here, um, normally my leash is attached to this bit, but it actually broke. I don't know why. So I haven't heard anything, um, anyone else this has happened to, but 
basically I've had to go into the shop and get another hole drilled so I've got the leash out of there not a big problem it's okay um, you can get over that now also like every other binding um, transitioning to the, uh, the, the from the uphill going to the downhill you can actually get a lot of ice underneath here and it can be actually tricky to get in your your pins so if that's the case just make sure with a knife or anything or even a brush just clear the snow and ice before getting in now that has only happened to me once or twice so for me it's not actually a big deal I actually think the pros are a lot better also I've had some friends that have had some difficulty just in with the levers that sometimes they come up um, after heavy use which can actually you can actually overcome that problem if they do by just tightening up this clamp but really that hasn't happened to me so I've just been really pleased that they've been there when I've needed them um, and also that there's two other levels that I can use when climbing up if you do find great value in this video please give us a big thumbs up me and my dookie boy um, would really appreciate it and it really helps the channel now another question I also get asked about is would I actually buy them again now I'm not sponsored by Salomon I do get a discount and my answer to this would actually be yes I really enjoy this binding um, they're reliable they're convenient um, they're light um, and yeah I would definitely buy these bindings again if you've got any questions that you're struggling with with regards to ski touring bindings downhill bindings or this particular binding please drop a comment in below and I can help you out with all those things and let me know are you using these bindings do you like them okay have you had any problems with them just drop me a comment below and it's a great way that I can chat to you now if you want to keep up to date with what's going on in the ski industry and about snow prizes gives you tips how to improve your skiing videos please subscribe to my newsletter free flow ski newsletter I'm gonna put the link in the description below it's free and you can join in and uh, and learn so much thanks for watching and I'll see you next Sunday